you probably already know that the interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. However, can you prove that this will always be the case for every triangle? That's what we're going to look at in this video. Before continuing with this video, you need to be comfortable with angles on parallel lines. In particular, you need to know about alternate angles, as we are going to rely on them in this video. Right, let's get into the proof. So, it doesn't matter what triangle we have, we're going to have three interior angles. Whatever they are, I can label them x, y and z degrees. Now, what we want to do is pick one side of the triangle. It doesn't matter which one. I'm going to pick this side here. Obviously, a side joins two vertices. So this side joins a vertex here and a vertex here. What I need to do is draw a line parallel to this side that goes through the third vertex. So I want a line parallel to this one that goes through this vertex here. If I do that, I end up with this. Now I'm going to mark some arrows on the diagram like this to show that these are parallel. Now here we can spot some alternate angles. This angle here is equal to this angle here because we've got alternate angles. Two parallel lines, here's a transversal, so this one and this one are the same. So I can label this x degrees. Similarly, I can label this angle here z degrees because we've got two parallel lines and a transversal, which means this angle here is alternate to this angle here and is therefore equal. Here we have three angles that meet at a point on a straight line. Therefore, they must add up to 180 degrees. X plus Y plus Z must equal 180. But wait a minute, look at the interior angles of the triangle. We've got X degrees, Y degrees and Z degrees. And we've just shown that no matter what X, Y and Z are, they must add up to 180 because of what we know about alternate angles. This means no matter what triangle we start with, its interior angles will add up to 180 degrees.